All scripture quotes are from the 1611 KJB. Introduction to the Dispensational Study Bible This is a one-of-a-kind study Bible that takes the dispensational approach to studying God's Word revealed to mankind and laid out for us by Paul, the Apostle of the Gentiles. Romans 11 verse 13 KJV For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the Apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. You will notice as you read each book of the Bible that the biblical text that comes from that particular book alone will be in a bold 12 font. The scripture references are all in bold italicized 10 font, and all commentary is in plain 10 font for ease in distinguishing which is which. For example, if you were reading Ephesians 3 verse 2 you might find something like this. Ephesians 3 verse 2 If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you word, 1 Corinthians 9 verse 17 KJV, For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Ephesians 1 verse 10 KJV that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together and one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. God has dispensed his word to us today in the body of Christ through Paul, the apostle of the Gentiles. Many of these teachings were a mystery hid in God until they were first revealed to the apostle Paul. Ephesians 3 verse 9 KJV and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Colossians 1 verse 25 Whereof I am made a minister, according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you, to fulfill the word of God. Warning, all four of these verses are either not found in modern Bible versions, or the word dispensation is changed to a much weaker word thus watering down its definition. Dispensational Beginnings Dispensational theology did not start by anyone in the last 200 years as covenant theologians would have you believe. It started with God back in eternity past. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Daniel's 70th Week Jesus began his ministry at the age of 30 in the middle of the 69th week of Israel's 70 weeks of punishment, which were foretold by Daniel the prophet. Daniel 9 verse 24 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. The 70th week of Daniel was to follow Christ's being cut off, crucified, and then Israel was to begin their 1,000-year kingdom promised in the writings of the prophets. The 70th week never happened because God interrupted Israel's prophetic program because of the rejection of its king and instituted a mystery program for the church, which is Christ's body. Colossians 1 verse 24 the Gospel accounts are the stories of the events that occurred between the 64th and 69th weeks of Daniel's prophecy to Israel. A Middle Wall of Partition All the events that occurred in the four Gospels occurred while a middle wall of partition was up between Jews and Gentiles, placed there by God and salvation was of the Jews at that time. John 4 verse 22 KJV Ye worship ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Ephesians 2 verses 11 to 15, KJV, Wherefore remember, that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. This middle wall of partition was between the circumcision and the uncircumcision, and it was erected when circumcision was established by God with Abraham and his seed. 
Genesis 17 verses 1 to 14, KJV, And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God, walk before me, and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore, thou, and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee, every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people, he hath broken my covenant. Let it alone this year also. Luke 13 verses 6 to 9, KJV, He spake also this parable, A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these. Three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it, and if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. This year ended at the stoning of Stephen, and then Israel who had stumbled at the cross, fell, and she diminished throughout the book of Acts as the body of Christ was established. Section 1, In Times Past Matthew, Acts 8 Introduction When you open up any Bible today, it is divided into two basic divisions, the Old and the New Testaments, but that is not an accurate division of the material found in its pages. For example, from Genesis 1 verse 1 to Exodus 19 we have a period of almost 2,500 years of history in which the Old Testament law had not yet been given to Israel. The next 1,534 years begin in Exodus 20 with the giving of the law at MT. Sinai to the children of Israel, and it ends soon after Christ's resurrection. The New Testament cannot not begin until the after the death of the testator Jesus Christ as we are told in the scripture. Hebrews 9 verses 15 to 17, KJV, And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead, otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Jesus Christ did not die in, or before Matthew 1 verse 1, he died in Matthew 27 verse 50, Mark 15 verse 37, Luke 23 verse 46, and John 19 verse 30. Everything that occurs in the four Gospels before Christ's death would have occurred under the law of Moses, Matthew 1 verse 1 KJV, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Matthew 27 verse 50 KJV, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Mark 15 verse 37 KJV, and Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. Luke 23 verse 46 KJV, And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, 
Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit, and having said thus, he gave up the ghost. John 19 verse 30 KJV, When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head, and gave up the ghost. Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 KJV, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. The placing of title pages before Genesis and Matthew that say, the Old and New Testaments were placed there erroneously by publishers, they are not part of the inspired, inerrant word of God.